Okay, what's in my spirit right now? The song we just got through uh, going to our church, uh, to a different church today. And um, shopping this month. And um, so we got someone to pray for, a friend of mine who's going through stage four cancer. And uh, I felt the Holy Spirit when we were praying. And um, she said something, this pre, uh, uh, pastor said something in the prayer, Pastor Jonah. She said something in the prayer that let me, at the end of the prayer, made me sing. My hallelujah belongs to you. Come on now. Mm -hmm. My hallelujah belongs to you. Uh -huh. Cause you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Come on, Jesus. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. Uh-huh. In my spirit right now. My hallelujah belongs to you. That was in my spirit from that prayer. And again, today is June 2nd. And in the month of June, we are dedicating the streams for breakthrough, miracles, and whatever God needs to do to change your hearts and your minds and your souls and the body and your overall environments if it may need to be changed. Uh-oh. Shh. Okay. So anyway, um, for the month of June, uh, the first week we're praying for marriages. And I want to include families, but I got to I gotta download some more powerful prayers for families, unity, relationships, things like that. But right now we're going to go over six powerful prayers for your marriage. Again, I am just looking online for powerful prayers and God's leading me to choose those prayers. And, um, it was amazing because we, you know, we were looking for uh, a church to go to for Sunday. And, um, in my spirit, he said, you know, go to a different church that you've never gone to before. And of course, God was in the midst. And uh, from that, we have an opportunity to go help others. They have an outing on next Saturday. It's for the House of Grace. It's for women who have been going through abusive lies and stuff. And hopefully I can make it next week to, to do that. And um, it's just an opportunity and, uh, you know, to help someone else. And that's something that God allowed my bestie, uh, mm -hmm. you know, to get the opportunity because there was something that she was struggling. She's always helping people, but God is allowing her to be able to help with this volunteer to actually, that's one of our bucket lists is to help other women in need. In Hello. The yeah. In the community. Hello. So anyway, Simon um, anchors, diamond anchors all the way. Diamond Are you an anchor? Too. And, and when you're under pressure, and when you're under pressure under what 20,000 feet of water and you're a diamond will you succumb to the pressure no because in that diamond is the miracle of life you know the and living loving God cannot be broken. and a diamond cannot be broken and that's what God made us all diamonds shine bright like a diamond can y'all see that shining bright like a diamond woo, woo. shining bright like a diamond da, 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 <laughs> okay I messed up my hand like okay so um, six powerful prayers for your marriage. And the author says, here are six powerful but short prayers that I hope can help strengthen your marriage. Some of you are not even married yet. You're single. So you need to pray this prayer if God is leading you to get married. And if you're engaged right now, you need to make sure that you are praying over your situation. And I advise people who are going to get married that you really need to be in counseling every week for a whole year so that you make sure that you're setting up your foundation properly so that you really know the person that you're getting married. That's just my suggestion in this day and age of quickie divorces and quickie marriages. We want it to be set up on a good solid foundation. Okay. And even it would have helped your marriage coming, that coming you're in currently and you feel mm -hmm. that, you know, you're married and now that we've been married for a while, we would actually look back and say, hey, this would have helped us, our marriage, even to be happier. Exactly. Currently, if mm -hmm. we had went through some counseling. Exactly. 
So we're going to uh, begin with the prayer for unity in the spirit. This is the first prayer that we're doing today. So join with me in prayer. Uh, and for those who are going through, who are going issue, through issues in their marriages right now, God can transform, he can renew, and he can give both of us or both of you in your marriage is a Damascus moment so that you can be transformed and renewed. Okay, here we go. God, my father, I know that my beloved is so different from me and I am supposed to learn how to dwell with my spouse in the unity of the spirit. And I need your spirit to help me know how we can both be of one mind and to grow together in Christ. This is not possible without your spirit. God, so help me in ways that are reflective of the similar relationship that the church has with the head of the church, Jesus Christ, in whose righteousness name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's the first prayer. Okay. Now we're going, hello. Now we're going to, uh, I can't see who's joining in. I really apologize. Oh, Gracie. Oh, good. Grace's favor. Thank you for joining in the private. Yes. He's been, um, uh, I used to go to, uh, the same college as Grace's favor. Hello. So anyway, I can't see anything because I have it mounted in a certain way. I can't see who's entering, but my bestie, she has it on. So now I can see who's coming in. Isn't that great? Isn't that what you want? Okay. So the next prayer we're doing for marriages in the month of June for this whole week, for those who are coming in for the whole month, uh, there will be different topics of prayer for each week that we're doing. We need to shut the door. Tilt it a little bit. Yeah. That's the best I can do. Uh, you want to tilt this uh, one? No, just this way. Okay. I'm going to try to get rid There we go. See, look, I didn't have to go out and buy all that stuff that I bought to try to do my uh, member yesterday. And God already had something in my house that I could have used for my streaming on my three phones. But no, I didn't look around. See, God will put whatever's in your hands, whatever you have, just like the woman who was about to die with her son and prophet Elijah came by and, and said, please make me some bread. And what, and what did he say? He says, she says, we have nothing. All we have is oil and a little meal and then we're going to die. See, God uses what's in our hands. So he helped me to go to the internet and found these powerful prayers for marriage. And so next week, we're going to do powerful prayers for unemployment and finances. The third week, we're going to go do healing. And then the fourth week of the month of June, we're going to do prayer for negativity. Because we got to remove it in all sorts of situations. Confusion, discord, anything. We block it in the name of Jesus. So now, prayer of thanksgiving. Oh, you want to read that one? I, I think I have a okay. I have my guest, my guest bestie read this. So prayer of thanksgiving for our marriages. Here we go. Great Heavenly Father, just as our children are a gift from you, so too is my precious spouse. You have been so good to me, for he is such a blessing to me and more than I truly deserve. So I praise you for him and thank you for this blessed spouse that you sovereignly directed to me mm -hmm. my life is so much richer for him and i thank you lord for this blessing in the precious name of christ i pray amen hallelujah our next prayer will be prayer of servanthood i know that's gonna be hard for a lot of us who are married and those who've gotten out of relationships or going into relationships prayer of servanthood here we go god my father i need to be a servant of my husband or wife. Help me to have the mind of Christ to be humble myself and not think more highly of myself than I should. To esteem him or her above myself and to put his or her interests above my own. You sent your son to come die for me so I should be willing to die to myself daily in order to bring to you to bring glory to you in my marriage and in the great son of God's name Jesus Christ I pray amen amen so now I'm going to do the prayer of protection prayer of protection because in our marriages we need to be protected right 
Let's see what time it is. I got five more minutes. I'm almost done, people. I'm going to try to make it 15 minutes every time we do it because I can talk too long, right? Okay. So the prayer of protection. We all need our marriages protected, okay? So, so prayer of protection. Before we do that, I'm on. Oh, you know. Okay. So prayer of protection. Oh, low battery. Oops. That's what I was afraid of, but that's okay. Nikki Nunu, thank you for coming in the broadcast. Okay, prayer of protection. Righteous God, please be with my spouse today and protect him or her from the evil one and the wickedness that is found everywhere in this world. Okay? Keep their minds stayed on you, Lord. Deliver them from or protect them from temptations that are all around us both in this world so that he or she may not sin and to your son's glory in his name i pray we pray amen thank you father god prayer of restoration there are some marriages that need to be restored right now in the name of jesus mm -hmm. father god we often have problems in our marriage and i need your help in showing me how to humble myself so that we can confess our sins to one another and to also admit Mm -hmm. Our mistakes and apologize. Yes, a lot of marriages Admit need this. Mistakes. A lot of marriages need this right now because it's I don't really like hard. To say sorry. Yeah. Okay. I don't. A lot of us I'm need this. I'm telling you right now, I do not. Like okay. So sorry. the Lord is prompting our hearts it's right very now. Very hard for me. The to Lord say is sorry. prompting our hearts. Sometimes so those words were for me. They're for me too. Sometimes my words are carelessly spoken yep. to his or her heart, Blunt. and I am so sorry. But I need to tell them as well. I know that we often hurt those we love the most. And where there is great love, there is often great pain. So please help restore or repair any damage that I have done in this relationship. Yes. Come on now. Show me by your spirit where I need to confess, apologize, and make things right. And in the, se in the name above all names, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I love that prayer because we've all hurt somebody and we didn't mean to do it because we're lashing out by our own anger and our human and our fleshly desires. Prayer of love. We almost done, people. Prayer of love. I think that's the last one. Prayer of love. One time. We got two more minutes. We almost there. Um, oh, let me let my, my bestie read this one. Prayer of love. That sometimes clash are brought together. Sometimes they clash. And it really takes the Holy Spirit yes. to be that which completes the threefold cord. Threefold cord. And that's why you need to say, don't fight it yourself. Just say, Holy Spirit, can you go take, take care God, of them come and take care marriage. of me? Because yes. If God hasn't if we haven't felt God in our marriage, then we didn't invite God into our marriage instead of trying to do it on our own all this time and thinking that we can do whatever we want to do. Well, praise Jesus. Our time has come to the end. You have reached the Felicia sh live show. Let's be real. Uh, you may hopefully in the future may see this on local channel uh, TV. I'm trying to go there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, blessings, peace. Thank you for joining in the broadcast. Pray for your marriages. Pray for my marriage. Pray for everybody's marriages around the world this week. And try some Vietnamese mail. And try some Vietnamese mail. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everybody. You have a blessed day.
Because my hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah. I'm ending the broadcast. My hallelujah belongs to you. Uh-huh. Yes. One more time. My hallelujah belongs to you. Yay. That's it. Because my hallelujah belongs to you. There we go.